Thank you for joining us in this last but not least part in our car buying video series, Car Maintenance. In this section, we will go over maintenance checks and what they entail, as well as warning lights and symbols to look out for. The biggest maintenance costs are oil changes, smog tests, renewing your registration and changing tires. Oil changes should be every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. This is probably two to four times per year if you're just driving your car to work. Depending on the state you are in and if your car is older than six years old, you might need to do a smog test or emissions test every other year you re-register the car. Every year you need to renew your registration. You can do this at the DMV or at AAA if you are paying for a AAA membership. It is very important that you remember to renew your registration before the deadline. It isn't very expensive if you do it in time, but if you register late, the fees can be very expensive. Finally, you'll need to change your tires about every 60,000 miles. This is roughly every four to five years. Here are some warning signs to look out for when you own a car. These signs may appear within the first six months of owning your car, depending on how old the vehicle you've purchased is. The brake system warning light can indicate one of two things. The parking brake is engaged or brake fluid is low. In either scenario, the light is turned on by a switch somewhere in the brake system. Low brake fluid can indicate either worn brake pads or a leak in the hydraulic system. What should you do if the brake system warning light illuminates on your car's dashboard? First, make sure that the parking brake is disengaged. After confirming that the parking brake is off, you'll want to check the brake fluid level. A brake fluid leak is a serious concern that can result in a reduction or complete loss of braking ability. You should not drive the vehicle until the problem is fixed. Whenever the vehicle charging system warning light goes on, it means that the vehicle is running solely on battery power. If the problem continues and your charging system fails, the battery won't be able to recharge and it will soon run down, leaving you with a dead battery. Here is a way to do a simple charging system check. Upon placing the key in the ignition and cycling between off, run, and start positions, the charging system will administer a self-check. When you start the engine, the indicator light should remain on for one to two seconds and then automatically shut off. If the light turns off after two seconds, that means the charging system is functioning properly. If the indicator light remains on or turns off and on randomly while the vehicle is running, there is a problem with the charging system and you should take the car to a mechanic. Emissions control lamp determines that something in your engine is not functioning properly. Unlike certain symbols which tell you exactly what is wrong with your vehicle, the admissions control lamp warning light can glow for several reasons. Because of this, you should take it to a mechanic to determine the root cause and go from there. There are several things you can do initially to try and solve the issue. Check that there are no other symbols on your dashboard indicating additional problems, such as low oil pressure or overheating. If this is the case, pull over your vehicle, shut the engine off, and contact a roadside service. Tighten and replace your gas cap, as sometimes a broken or loose rubber seal can trigger the light to come on. If you think that your vehicle feels different on the road, especially if the performance has decreased, reduce your speed and avoid transporting heavy goods. Check whether the engine light is constant or flashing. A solid glow tells you that you should have your vehicle inspected soon. However, a blinking emissions control lamp is a greater cause for concern and indicates that your vehicle should be inspected by a professional immediately. The purpose of the tire pressure monitoring system is to alert you that the tire pressure is too low and could create unsafe driving conditions. If the light is illuminated, it means your tires could be underinflated, which can lead to tire wear and possible tire failure. If this warning light comes on, it's time to check your tires with a tire pressure gauge, which costs as little as $5 and can be found at a gas station. If your tire pressure is low, it may be time to replace your tires. The low oil pressure light is a warning that there's not enough oil pressure or that the oil level is too low. Check the oil level and add motor oil to the vehicle if needed and continue to monitor the light. If the oil was indeed low, the light should turn off. If not, it may be another common cause that triggers the light and will need to be checked by a mechanic. 
The seatbelt warning light indicates that one or more of the car's passengers has not fastened a seatbelt on or buckled it properly. The light should disappear once everyone is securely buckled. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the International Rescue Committee's car buying video series. At this point, you know the best practices for budgeting your car, understanding what car insurance to get, how to select and purchase a car, and how to best take care of your vehicle. To receive additional support in your car purchase, please get in touch with your local IRC office to connect with a financial coach for free one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to access financial coaching in Dari or Pashto, please email safeproject at rescue.org to connect with a financial coach. Thank you for joining us and good luck in finding the right car for you.